right. Welcome back to another episode of my movie review series, episode 387. Now, last, uh, just a few days ago, I said that Haunttober was coming. Well, hey, we're here, baby. We're here. Haunttober is finally has finally returned. The event has arrived once again. And man, I tell you, like I said, two in a week, and this is. October, day one. So yeah, man. The Fly, 1986. To start it off. Yeah, Jeff Goldblum, Gina Davis, John Getz. Just name a few. Directed by the legendary David Cronenberg. Yeah, man, I tell you, this movie, yeah. A remake <laughs> of yeah one one of the uh, the better remakes the much better remakes out there and yeah I tell you man yeah yeah remake of the uh, 1958 classic and yeah man I tell you yeah this movie yeah, like I said one of the much better remakes it it just improved on so many levels I mean yeah man. It improved on so many levels. Yeah, when the, with uh, Cronenberg doing this, man, you know, the king of body horror, you know. Yeah, it just improved on so many levels. And yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you got this guy named Seth Brundle. Seth Brundle, yeah, he wanted to change the world, you know. He had this, he had this, this science project, you know. He had uh, to, uh, he, uh, re revolutionize he wanted to revolutionize teleportation so he made these um, transporters called telepods yeah basically you take you take these you take one and you would transport one object to another telepod that he got um, set up in the, in his lab. And yeah, you know, in a, in this lab, in a 50 feet, in 50 feet positioning, you know, one telepod to another, he can only transport, transport inanimate objects, like a stocking. So, you know, when he uh, made the attempt to transport living objects yeah the uh the first one didn't go out so well you know yeah the poor baboon you know it was turned inside out so yeah and that was pretty uh that was pretty nasty but yeah once he um once he uh made some adjustments you know once he uh he uh taught the computer on how to um um adapt to uh, to uh, fleshy things, I guess you can say. <laughs> well, he taught the he taught the computer to adapt to um, the flesh. So once the uh, the second experiment came out successful, you know he you know the uh, the original plan, you no, know, the ultimate plan was teleporting himself 50 feet through space from one telepod to another so you know yeah he decided yeah yeah let's do it right here right now so yeah you know he um yeah one drunken night one um jealousy drunken night <laughs> you know he uh teleported himself from one pod to the other. Here's the thing, though. On that night, without knowing, he had a fly go with... You know, a fly was inside the uh, telepod with him. 
So when he went in telepod to the other, yeah, that fly went in with him. The only thing is the computer got confused in the whole process and <laughs> it turned into a gene splicer, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he basically is going to be turn. Yeah, he, he is, uh, turning into a giant housefly, basically. Oops. Yeah, science gone wrong, man, I tell you. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, throughout the, um, yeah, throughout this whole process, you know, he met, you know, before and before, during, before and during, you know, yeah, he met Ronnie, Gina Davis's character, and, you know, you know, they, uh, they got acquainted, they got together, you know, pretty much fell in love, you know, and yeah, you know, eventually, you know, she, <clears throat> became pregnant with his baby. Now, whew, this, this, this shit just escalates to a whole other level, man. So, yeah. While he's, uh, in his personal nightmare, you know, just getting more and more fucked up, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, she had a a nightmare of her own that she gave birth to a giant maggot and roof. I'll tell you, yeah, this movie, yeah, like I said, this movie, you know, I think I think I think this movie coined the phrase body horror. Because, you know, with the uh with the uh, Brundles, you know with his uh, with uh, his horror and you know with uh the horror of the whole situation, you know, things just not going to get any better. At all. So yeah, man, I tell you. Around the end of this, around the end of this, you know, yeah, you know, he uh, he pretty much went through the uh, whole full transformation of him becoming a, a giant humanoid insect. And man, I tell you, yeah, he. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he, 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 he had, a, had, had a theory on, you know, how his, uh, his humanity can stay intact by having himself, Ronnie, and the unborn baby be joined together as a, the ultimate family. So, yeah, he's going to put himself in one telepod put her in another and they're going to come together in a, a prototype telepod and yeah that would be the uh, the plan right there man that would be the end result right there so yeah uh, but it just didn't happen that way and then yeah she didn't want it to happen that way yeah so you know You know, there was a struggle, you know, there was a struggle. Uh, an old friend with her, and uh, an old friend was with her named Stephens Barnes, and, you know, he helped her pretty much get out of this whole situation. You know, he had, he had a shotgun, fired the uh, shotgun at the main cable that connect, the, uh, that connect her telepod to the computer, so, so yeah, you know, once the um, transformation was uh, in process, you know, Brundle's Brundlefly, you know, is uh, yeah, he himself and part of the telepod, you know, fused together. So yeah, you know, he decided to know, you know, yeah, he cannot live like this. He cannot live like this. So he uh, had this. He, you know, he had Ronnie decide. You know, he took this shotgun, 
placed it on his head. He wanted everybody to uh, just, just end the suffering. Yeah, so, you know, in an unfortunate turn of events, you know, yeah, Ronnie tearfully, you know, blew Brundle's head off. And, yeah. Fell to her knees in full despair. Yeah, man, I tell you, yeah. Yeah, he wanted to change the world, but he created a nightmare. You know, science has gone wrong. And, uh, this movie, you know, it is just pure awesome, though. You know, the effects, you know, the makeup effects and everything, the creature effects, you know, how they uh, made the fly and everything. You know, it's just straight up awesome. You know, straight five out of five, man. Yeah, that's my review, Jack, and I'm sticking to it. Now, in a few days, you know, on October continues, but we're going into the corn where we got to deal with these kids. So, yeah, you keep it locked right here for that. Check out my list right here. Subscribe to me right here and check out the Hot October playlist right here. In the meantime, in between time, this show is off. <laughs>